Hi guys, welcome to Homesteading Through Our Eyes. I'm down in our farm stand, or which once was our farm stand, as you can see from our sign here. The farm stand's closed for this year. A couple people had asked, were we running our farm stand this year because of the whole uh, virus pandemic? Um, and we decided that we were not going to run our farm stand this year, but we didn't want to lose that income. So we chose to do something a little bit different and we decided to do a CSA, which is actually stands for a community supported agriculture. So basically what that means is that you find people in your community that are willing to pay you upfront for a certain amount of weeks for a certain amount of boxes, it's called. You get your shares in a box and um, whether you have a good farm year or a bad farm year they're in it with you so they're part of your business or your farm or however you want to say it they have a share in your farm we put it out to our community that we had a couple offering couple share openings for our csa program and we got a couple people to join us. And we did eight weeks uh, because we did decide a little late what we were gonna do. And we did a nice assortment of different herbs and vegetables and we even gave them a pretty bouquet. And uh, everyone seemed very happy with it and we were really happy with it. And a lot easier than the farm stand. We made more money than the farm stand, less stressful than the farm stand. So something that we're definitely going to continue to do in the future. Uh, hopefully next year we'll be able to add a couple more and it'll be a more profitable and growing CSA business. So it was nice that we already had this wonderful little farm stand built. Why don't you step back a little bit and you can check out how beautiful it is. Darren and I built this ourselves. It's just a nice little area that we already had made for the people to come and pick up their produce. Um, it looks very inviting. We need to change a few things here going on in the future. We probably will take down the signs um, and probably won't need the farm stand closed sign anymore. People will get used to it not being open. Um, but I'm happy that we had this cute little area for them to come and pick up their box. And they would come, they would park alongside the road, walk in, and their box would usually be sitting right there waiting for them with a pretty flower bouquet out the top. Um, so let's show you our process of picking the vegetables for our CSA. This is our last CSA of the year. It's the end of September. We can't continue on too much longer um, with frost warnings in, in the future. So let's show you what we're going to do. We're down in our lower garden right now. I had already been onto the back garden and picked all the tomatoes I'm going to give them. So we kind of just skipped that part for you. but. This week they're getting, I don't know how much that is, but more than a pint. Here's a pint. These are white cherry tomatoes and white and black cherry tomatoes. They're delicious. Um, the people seem to really enjoy them. I enjoy them. We have a giant, look at this guy, a giant tomato. And we also have three smaller tomatoes. This is all going into her share. And let's go pick some other stuff because she can't just get all tomatoes, so she might be happy. She seems to like tomatoes. So come on, let's go pick some kale. All right, I think we got plenty of kale picked for our CSA. Mmm, delicious. Uh, we made kale chips last night that came out great. We're making them again tonight and we put this in our saute all the time and I hope our CSA members are really enjoying it because it's delicious. Okay, picking some banana peppers for a CSA member. They're a little small right now, but they're still pretty good when they're small. We got one over here and uh, maybe this one in here. Oh. There we go. All right, we got rutabagas. Now this is the first time they're getting this. This is kind of more of a fall thing. Um, come check out this big boy over here. Kitty, look at this guy. 
rutabagas can get really huge and they actually get better as they go into the frost. <laughs> Kitty does what he wants in the garden. So I'm going to pull this guy out. This is a nice size for them. Um, I'm going to keep the big one for myself and store it for the winter. When you run a small farm like this, you have to share some with your customers and but definitely make sure you take care of yourself so all right I'll, I'll get the scissors and clip some of that off they don't want all that dirt that's a nice rutabaga right there nice and perfect no blemishes Taking some green beans. That's, uh, that's, that's about it. <laughs> All right, it's filling up. It's looking pretty good. Um, we do need some more things in here, though. So let's go find some more. And a turnip, which is something that they've gotten quite a bit over this eight weeks. We do grow a lot of turnips. We eat a lot of turnips. Looks like a rutabaga, but it's not. Dandelions, sorrel, chives, and a pretty flower bouquet. This year they mostly got zinnias and sunflowers and a couple little things here and there, some snapdragons and um, mint flowers. It's going to be very pretty. And some lettuce to go along with our salad mix here. We'll get a little bit more lettuce over there. All right, so we got our flowers picked. They look beautiful. We got our box filled up. It looks wonderful. She's going to be very happy. Um, we had a great CSA. Can't wait to do it again next year. We also included a tiny little Jackie little pumpkin as a little gift. And also a little painted rock as a keepsake. It says the vegetables last stand, CSA 2020. Thanks for watching our CSA video. Take care. Find yourself a CSA by you. Um, they're good for the community, good for the farmer, and you get some wonderful produce. Bye. Peace. Check the bush beans.